Hey guys, it is Michelle and I am so excited to do this haul. Oh man, I was really bad but good because the saving was insane. But I want to show you anyway, so I'm going to start um, in order that I had the bags, I guess, sitting here. I guess that's the best method here. Right, Des? Come on, say hi. Come on, say hi. You say hello. She's moody. She's being moody today. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I picked you up, God forbid. Um, first, I went to the Goodwill, and I dropped off some boxes of items. And I always like looking around, because you never know when you're going to find something. I rarely... I hate to say it, it's very rare where I do find things in these particular locations. Um, you know, it is what it is. You don't find 80 things or... Um, once in a while you'll find like, like that pair of coach shoes I found a few months ago, which I was super stoked about. But it's hit or miss in these places anyway because it's obviously done by donations. Um, but this time I did find a little thing. This is probably the cheapest I've ever walked out of there as far as spending. She needs to be... Hmm. Okay, that was a little odd. It's okay, just the wind. Okay. Um, anyway, this is probably the cheapest I've ever walked out as far as like when I made a purchase, because sometimes you just go and there's nothing there. She needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I'm really excited about this. Um, I looked around. They did have some... Do you remember those angels from like the 90s that had like the little... I have one. I don't remember what they're called. They were white, and they looked like they were made out of some type of clay. And... Um, they had like an actual wreath that was made out of like dried flowers. They changed it to, like they ended up getting rid of the dried flowers after a while. I have one that somebody gave me for my communion. Um, but I don't remember what those things were called. But I know they were like highly collectible and there's like tons of them. Not the snow babies. It was a different type of an angel. But anyway, they had like a huge collection of those. But what they wanted for them was ridiculous. Because there were a couple that I found were cute, but they wanted like $12, $15 for these little tiny figures. But it's like, okay. And I'm not a huge fan of them, but there's like one or two that I probably would have picked up if they were like reasonable, but they weren't. Um, anyway, let me show you. I found this porcelain cabbage patch and I paid 99 cents. So it was like $1.07 with tax. She needs to be cleaned up, but she's so cute. I have, I don't know if I still have her. I got to find it. It's um, a little cabbage patch boy and girl made out of porcelain. And they're sitting at a little table and they're sharing a milkshake. Um, I think I still have. I hope I do because it's so adorable. So when I saw this, I was like, that's pretty 80s. And that's adorable. So that's got to go in my collection. And she's so cute. But she needs to be cleaned up a little bit. She is a little dingy, but that happens. But she's so cute. Look at how cute she is. I'm very excited. So next, I went back to TJ Maxx. I love going there for like their kitchen goods and stuff, and they have some cute purses sometimes. Um, really no hit this time. I went there for something specific. Um, but other than that, they didn't really have anything as, like that I would have grabbed this time around. Because um, I did pretty good the last time. Anyway, because Joey loves these and I do too, I went back and I got two boxes of these. Um, these are the coconut patties and the classic original, a creamy coconut confection dipped in a rich dark chocolatey coating and they are delicious. And this dog's gonna start barking because she hears another poochie. Yes, go bark at the poochie. Go on, go bark at the poochie. Funny. So anyway, these do come in different flavors. The back of this packaging shows them a little bit better. I paid $3.99. They come in Pina Colada, which isn't bad. I've had that one. Key Lime, Mango, Island Rum, Orange, and Almond. I would love to try the Island Rum and the Almond. I haven't found those ones yet. I normally find Key Lime and Pina Colada. Joey doesn't like the Pina Colada. And when I was on vacation, I found the Mango one. Which is disappointing to say the least when you're looking for anything but mango. <laughs> so I got those because we love them and you know how TJ Maxx is. They don't keep things very long. So I figured while they have them, I'm going to pick some up. Now next, I went to Kohl's. I had to go back because I remember, um, you guys I'm sure remember when I did my last haul i bought myself a keychain lipstick and i'm like oh man those would make great christmas gifts as a little add-in prize not prize gift so i ended up getting three more 
Um, they're originally $26. They're marked $13, but I paid $5.20. And they're so cute. And I figured that would be an adorable gift for some of my friends who would love them. So I grabbed some of those. I'm always thinking about Christmas gifts or birthday gifts and stuff like that. So I'm always looking, especially if I can find a good deal because then I can get somebody more items. So that's how I like to do it. Next is Walmart, which I went there specifically and I'm saving that bag for last to show you guys. Um, but when I first walked in, they have the fall stuff and they got some really cute things. Um, they do have, you guys know I hauled a few years ago a Fox... Um, cookie jar and some cute little like plates and stuff. They do have them this year. They're slightly different. I wasn't very intrigued with the cookie jar this year. Um, they did have a cute plain stuff, but I already have one and I use it to kind of like, I use it as like a late, like to hold your spoon, like while you're cooking, like ladle holder, I think is what they call them or spoon holder, however you call it. So um, but I already have one, so I didn't want to buy another one. They did have cute bowls, but I reframed because I really don't need them. But the, I found this guy first, and I was like, oh, he's so cute. He was $2.98. I think he'll be adorable for our fall slash Halloween, or fall. I found this little fox, and it says, give thanks, and Desi's barking at a motorcycle. He's so cute. He actually, his face kind of looks pumpkin-y to me. I mean, he's got, I mean... He just got hair standing up on his head, but he kind of looked pumpkin-y to me. Desi, be nice. I know you don't like motorcycles. It's okay. And there's also a dog barking, so we're going to be hearing Desi. So how cute. Isn't that adorable? And for $2.98, I didn't think was a bad price for this. For a little decoration. Because I was looking for decorations this year. That's the other thing I was looking at TJ Maxx, and I didn't really find anything. Sometimes they have really cute stuff, and they didn't this year. It was a little disappointing. Next, I found this set, and I needed a new oven mitt anyway. But this set was how much? Three forty-eight. I didn't think that was a bad price for this. You get mm -hmm, a pot holder, an oven mitt, and a kitchen towel. So. That is the pot holder. How stinking cute is that? There's the oven mitt. You know I love foxes. It's like my favorite things. And then this adorable towel, which is actually made really well. I wish they had these in like bathroom towels. How adorable would that be? So you got the cute little fox. There's an owl. There's a hedgehog. There's a little raccoon holding a pie. It's like a pumpkin pie and a little squirrel this is adorable i couldn't pass it up and it was only three bucks and 48 cents so i had to like i said i need a new oven mitt anyway and some of my towels have seen better days so it was time now this is the main reason why i went as you guys know i hauled some pantyhose recently because they had a huge sale going on on um, on some of them so i got a huge bag of pantyhose here now, the first thing I want to show you wasn't on sale, but I've been looking for this particular color in a tight for some time. They actually had it in my size this time. This is this gorgeous. I, I know it's not coming up on camera. This is like a beautiful, deep Merlot ox blood color. It's a burgundy, they're calling it. And the pattern, as you can see, is this really cute checkery print. Um, I've seen this particular one... Um, at Walmart before and a few other stores, but they never have it in my size. And I've really been wanting this color so bad, but I finally found it. This was six bucks, a little bit more than I like to spend, but I've been wanting this and they had it in my size finally. So I picked it up. Everything else that I'm about to show you was a dollar. How many are in here? There's a lot. I think there's 10 here. Um, the first one I picked up is this one this is a nude it's a silken mist these were actually really nice they're run resistant i was looking for the run resistant ones because they're a little bit thicker than the typical nylon um because these are, are silky sheer leg um, normally those are super super thin but this is amazing so got that for a dollar in nude then i got the sheer energy and this is also in nude, medium support leg. I don't know what that means, but it's a dollar and I'll use them. And super excited. 
I normally don't like legs, but these were really good. Um, this is in jet black. This is, again, a silken mist run resistance. So I've got that in the jet black. What? I probably could have gotten the A's too, but I didn't. Um, actually, this one was $2, but there's two pair in here, and I couldn't pass it up. They're both jet black. I'm just saying the silky sheer mist. That's kind of what they will look like. So excited for two bucks, so a dollar a piece. You can't really go wrong with that. I could have fit in the A. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. Um, with working out and everything, I could actually, I, I may be going back and buying the A's too now. We will see. Next is another Silken Mist in Nude Run Resistant. There's a lot of nudes. Um, this one is an off black, and this one is the sheer energy. I never did an off black. I normally do the jet, so, um, and this one looks like, I mean, they look the same, pretty much. Four more pairs in here. This is jet black in the sheer energy. How many sheer energy jet blacks did I get? Oh, no, it's my first one in the sheer energy. So there's the jet black in the sheer energy. This one is Nude and Silken Mist. Nude are my favorite. This one is Bronze, which is another color that I haven't used. Um, Sun Kissed Ultra Sheer Leg. So this one, I'm pretty sure is gonna be super thin. I'll probably get one wear out of it because these super thin ones tend to, although it says it's run resistant, which is why I got it. So we're, we will see. That's what it looks like. And it shows how um, you can tell on her leg that's like super shiny. Very nice. It says it's run resistant. Um, we'll see because normally these ultra shears, like the nylons, I don't like them because God forbid you have like the slightest nail and you're going to make a hole. My last one, this is also a sun kiss and this is also in bronze. Um, and I got one of those two, and this was also, they were all a dollar with the exception of the two pack, which is two dollars, so still basically a dollar. Um, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11 pairs for 11 bucks. Um, normally these alone go for five dollars, so what I would have paid for two of these, I got 11. So I'm so stoked about that. Although now that I know I can fit in the A's, I will probably go back and get those as well. I've been super stoked. Um, it's great because like, it's nice to see that like you're, you know, you're working so hard to better yourself and you're going to the gym. Um, I try to go at least three times a week. Um, I tend to go about four. If I can do five, that's like my ideal, but it doesn't always happen because work schedules and stuff like that. But when you start seeing like the results and it takes time, it's not something that's overnight, it's really rewarding. And now um, it might save me some money because I'm going to be going back and getting more of those. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, it's a lot, but like I said, those were a dollar piece. I couldn't pass them up. Um, I love finding deals like that, especially when you know you're going to wear something. That's how I love to shop. I know some people will just buy some because it's on sale, but if you're not going to use it, you're just wasting your money. So when you know you're going to use it and it's a sweet deal like that, you need to stock up. So that's what I love to do. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. I got to take care of some things and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.